Merry Christmas, everybody, and uh, uh, Happy Hanukkah, and uh, whatever else you celebrate around this time of year. Mostly people celebrate Christmas, so Merry Christmas. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing these two Lego Christmas themed sets because I figured it was appropriate. So first we have the Winter Elf scene. This is for ages 9 and up. The set number is 40564 and there are 372 pieces. Next up we have Santa's Workshop for also ages 9 and up and the set number is 40565 and this one comes with 329 pieces. Alright so we got Two bags for bag one, two bags for bags two in the winter elf scene. Three bag ones and three bag twos for Santa's workshop. I'm gonna go ahead and build these. Okay, and that's the winter elf scene. This is pretty cool. I like this little sled here with the snowballs on it. That's pretty nice. Um, as well as just the minifigures are pretty cool. And uh, this right here can spin and that spins the elf on the ice rink. That's pretty neat. Uh, but also you can interchange for this stud here so that he actually sits on the ice and you can interchange it for an actual ice skate that you can put on his foot. I also really like the mountains in the background. That's pretty nice looking. And the trees are also pretty cool. Okay, and here we have Santa's workshop. Um, it looks pretty nice. I like, especially from the outside, it has a nice look to it. I like this door right here. It looks pretty nice. Uh, this is where the toys are gonna be coming in on this conveyor belt here, which I really like, just the playability feature of the uh, the toy conveyor belt. That's pretty neat. Uh, and these doors here, they like open up and close. That's pretty cool. I kind of wish there was a way to like stop it from doing that, but you know. If you just keep them open, it's not too bad. On the inside here, we've got a lot of different features. We have a little lantern here. It's very swing swangy. Uh, we have an elf painting here. We have Santa Claus looking very angry for some reason. Um, and this right here can close to uh, keep the toys from entering. Uh, got some presents here and there. Some paint up on the shelf and a little computer with like the world uh, and where the gifts need to go. So that's pretty cool. I like that detail of just that sticker. That looks pretty nice. Okay, so thoughts. Um, I'm not a huge fan of these. I kind of like the Santa minifigure. He's all right. Um, but just, I'm not a huge Christmassy person. I'm kind of a bit of a Grinch. Um, I don't really get into the Christmas spirit very much. Um, but these these sets are okay. I like the mountains and I like I like the the building itself. I kind of I didn't think I would actually. I'm usually not a um, building kind of person. I much prefer ships and vehicles over anything. Um, I don't like settings very much. Uh, but this was actually kind of neat. I like just uh, I like the look of it and I like the roof. The trust designer inside me um, kind of wanted there to be more of a roof and like actually like a completed building but like for for this reason that you actually can see inside the building it makes sense that you have two of the walls missing and most of the roof missing um but just part of me wishes that it wasn't that way but, but i think it's pretty cool and especially having this like conveyor belt i really like the conveyor belt and i like the uh skiing ring as well as the uh the squirrel the squirrel looks really really well done i love that piece um, I kind of wish that there was some way to have these two sets, like, stick together. I mean, sure, you could stick a 1x2 on there and they would kind of stick together. But I wish there was a way that you could have, like, a brick down in here somewhere. And then have one of those little red axles, just like the two long axles, just slot in there. And then just have them stick together to, like, really solidify that these are, like, together like they're supposed to be. Um... They didn't do that, so I'm gonna take a point off for that. So for price, they were gifts of purchase, so I'm not gonna rate that. So for minifigures, 
All of the elves are unique, which I like. This guy's got a green shirt and green pants, green shirt, red pants, and a scarf. Red shirt, green hat, green pants. I think it's nice that they all have unique color schemes, um, and they're all doing different things. This guy's ice skating, this guy's got a snowball, and this guy's painting. I really like the uniqueness of them all. And the Santa minifigure looks pretty good, and also has an extra beard piece. So if you were looking for a beard piece, this is this, this would work. So for the sets, I feel like these were not that great, honestly. I feel like they they like have to be together for either of them to be any good. Uh, so for this one, I'm going to give it a 6. It's really not my favorite. And for this one, I'm going to give it a 5. There are aspects of these sets that I do like. I like the conveyor belt. I like the trap door opening up and down. I really like the lantern piece. Lanterns are some of my favorite pieces and candles. I really like the candle. I like the little sled and I really like these trees. I really like these slidey doors. I think those are pretty cool. And I really like this lantern on the back. You don't really see that, but I noticed it and I like it. So overall for both of these is kind of like a six out of 10. It's not really gonna get you in the holiday spirit. I feel like at this point, it's mostly just like an investment for like the squirrel piece. I'm not sure if there are any other squirrel pieces in any other sets. So like at that point, it'd be like, the squirrel is an investment and maybe the Santa Claus. I'm not sure how many Santa Claus minifigures are out there. I don't even know if this one is unique. I didn't do any research because I don't care. But I don't I don't really see myself displaying these sets for any reason. I'm I don't really like them that much. But they were free, so like I can't really complain. So overall, I'd give them like a six. They're not great, but they're not they're not terrible. They don't deserve a zero. They're not terrible, but they don't blow me away at all. I'd say a six for just both of them together. And if you just get one separately, I'd, as I said, this one's like a six. That one's like a five. They're really not great. But if you put them together, maybe a seven. Anyway, that is the end of this video. Thank you everybody so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.